Welcome back to God of War. Well, we have entered five different areas <laughs> with five different entry stones. And now it is time to go back and. Oh, not there again. Find the door out of here. Um, once I find the way out. It's over here. Oh. Anyway, time to go back to Sentry and tell him I found a wonderful knife. By not so long, so father. And I don't even know which way to go. Well, he does, though. Okay, I'll play you. <laughs> Why would his son betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. You didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Yes. Well, 
What did you think of Fafnir's storeroom? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In a reaver's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madhurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. What can I do for you two? Psst. How about you, young one? Something else for you then? Alright, well that'll max out Atreus. Um, Bo. We've got enough. <laughs> it's chained. Okay, I'll get something on that. But that was already chained. If it's gonna be chained, I might as well. Larger explosions. Why not? I need to depend on him more. He's really helpful. Now that I figured out, you hold down the summon button, uh, the use me button to cause the summon, and I've got the wolves equipped, I believe. Back this way. To get the back to 
this story. Cost getting a lot better, it's just not totally done yet. Alright, well, before I go back to the story, let's see what else is in the area. Map. Map. Alright, so, I am. I'm there. Unfinished business. I must have landed in a different spot then. That's about uh, Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I tried too soon. Okay, so if I go back out and then turn left. Okay. Have you got? One more. There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief, and his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. Where am I? Okay. There should be a place I can look up. Obviously, I'm going to be trying that. If I can figure out how to do it. Look at that, that's just there. The world serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. Should be able to land right over here. We can beach them over here. the improvement. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Kavagia. Remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted? What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent. 
along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. There is a lot to see here. <laughs> to next. Are we lost? Nah. <sighs> One more for the collection. This does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? tell you about offering help. Don't. Correct. But can we This just... is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. What other stories have you got? One more. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. You should say, sure, I'll look forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he 
did say that. That was the story. I got it. Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. Boy. Kavikia. to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well... We can't expect them all to know something useful. Okay, well, it seems like we're almost done with one of the uh, request collection things. We get up four ghosts of the leak. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. Dock here. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Boy. Kvegia. Huh! <laughs> 
I must speak with you. Another spirit who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, Spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching Jotunheim. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping us. another story? Very well. There is a tale about a woodsman. He asked the trees of the forest for a branch to make a handle for his axe. Instead, the trees gave him a young sapling so they could keep their limbs. The woodsman made his axe, and then he returned and chopped down the oldest trees in the forest. Hmm. Just because trees are old doesn't mean they're smart. So, we're going to find the witch, and we're going to wrap this episode up because we're getting close to 30 minutes at this point. And, um, this may or may not be the uh, last episode for this week. I don't know how much more time we have. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay.
I bet this will lead out. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted.
boy. Another map. Bet we'll find something useful here. I see another one of those bowls of sand that I drew the ruins into. Not sure how we reach it. I see something up there. Up there. See it? something up there. Okay, well, I'm not getting up there until I get uh, whatever it is that breaks those vines, and my goal was still 26 meters that way, somehow. Maybe I'll do it next time. Till then. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell below. On the upper left, you will find the playlist for this game. Below that, you will find a link to a video that YouTube thinks that you would enjoy the most of all the videos on my channel. I have many games of many different types. I hope you would enjoy those videos as well. Thanks again. Goodbye.